Well, it is a day no one will ever forget. Queen Elizabeth II, the world's longest reigning monarch, has died. Now, many people here in Las Vegas shared their shock, shared their sadness, including one person who was across the pond when she heard the news. Sasha Loftus joins us now in studio tonight with more on her story. Sasha? Denise and Brian, I spoke with a woman from here in Las Vegas who's visiting London tonight as our local British community gathered to pay their respects as well. While their reactions to this day is different, they know it's one they'll never forget. I have never, ex I have nothing to compare this to. It's a monumental moment in history. No one will ever forget. How are you? Queen Elizabeth you II, you? dead at 96 years old, after the longest reign in British history. I couldn't believe it happened while I'm here. And Janine Simonson lives here in Las Vegas, but was in London when the news broke and describes an entire country's shock and sadness as she went to Buckingham Palace to pay her respects. They started, you know, tearing up and sniffles and tears, and then their phones started ringing. Back here at home, dozens, including England native Brett Sullivan, gathered to honor the queen from afar at the Crown and Anchor pub. It's a very, very sad day, and I've, I've been talking to friends all around the world. As a member of the military, he served with Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, and has met now King Charles III, but calls the Queen an irreplaceable symbol. You're just a great ambassador for our country, and, um, and she will be sorely missed. As she's both mourned and remembered in the United Kingdom and all around the world. I'm not British, but it's still the Queen. The Queen still died. Now, Simonson said the national anthem was playing on the radio when the news broke in London, but the lyrics quickly changed from God Save the Queen to God Save the King to honor King Charles III's ascension to the throne. Denise. Well, Sasha, of course, a lot of tributes being seen all across the valley tonight, including this a special video here uh, playing on the top of every hour at the canopy at Fremont Street Experience. Fremont officials say they are going to keep playing this all the way through Saturday night. And the high roller was lit up in purple tonight for a couple of hours. You can just barely see it honoring the Queen's memory. And one other thing to show you as far as tributes go, Resorts World on the north end paying tribute to her. Despite the little bit of the dust, you can kind of see it here leaving a special graphic on their huge LED screen.